Today I'm going to cook for you my vegan chili. It is definitely fall and chili is sounding so good. It is a super easy recipe. I know you'll be able to follow along. It's a chop it up, dump it in. I'll leave the recipe in the description box below. If you guys make it, please let me know how you like it by giving me a thumbs up. All right, let's get started cooking. Start by chopping everything up and opening all of your cans to make this an easy dump it in recipe. Once everything is chopped and ready to go, we will season the meat. Put a little bit of onion and about a teaspoon of minced garlic into a hot oil pot. Stir that up and let it heat for a second. While that's heating up, go ahead and crumble about half of your block of your smart grounds or you can use the entire package if you like, or you can even omit this part entirely. It's up to you. Now add your crumbled smart grounds to your hot oiled pot along with one teaspoon of chili powder, a half a teaspoon of cumin, and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a little salt to taste. You will also want to add some more oil. I'm using avocado oil here, but whatever oil you prefer. We're looking for the smart grounds to have sort of a crispy texture. Let this cook and simmer and allow all the flavors to melt together. When the grounds have finished cooking, go ahead and scoop them out and set them aside for now. Next, add to your hot oil pot your onion, bell pepper, and celery. Allow everything to cook until it softened a bit. Add your minced garlic, one tablespoon of chili powder, and one half a tablespoon of cumin. Mix this up and let it simmer. Now you're going to start dumping in all your cans you've opened. I use two cans of chili beans, one can of baked beans, one can of drained and rinsed dark kidney beans, and one can of petite diced tomatoes. I also added in two cans of tomato juice just to make everything a little bit more soupy. Give everything a good stir and add in your smart grounds that you had set aside earlier and also your diced green chilies. I'm using some green chilies that I had in my freezer. I picked them up in Hatch, New Mexico this summer, but you can use any green chilies. You can use hot, spicy, mild, and you can use none at all if you'd like. Add salt and pepper to taste and let everything simmer on the stove for about 20 to 30 minutes. Now go ahead and ladle yourself up a big old bowl of chili and serve it with some crusty French bread or my favorite corn chips. And then top it with a little bit of avocado and cilantro. My family likes to eat it over top of baked potato. I like sweet potato, but either way, it is so good and I hope you enjoy it as much as we do.